Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're going to talk about negative powers of 10. So what we're going to do is look at how negative exponents affect 10. So let's just take a look. If I have 1 over 10, that's actually equal to 10 to the power of negative 1. Now that might seem a little odd, but let me explain to you how it works. Anytime you see a negative exponent, that means you take the reciprocal of the thing that's being raised to that power. So in 10 to the power of negative 1 is the same as 1 over 10 to the power of 1. And 10 to the power of 1 is just 10. Let's look at another example and I think you'll see what I mean. 10 to the power of negative 2. So the first thing we're going to do is take the reciprocal of this, flip it upside down. That'll make our exponent positive. So what we end up with then is 1 over 10 to the power of 2. So here we have 10 to the power of negative 2. That's the same as 1 over 10 to the power of positive 2. And 10 times 10, 10 squared, is just equal to 100. So let's look at one more example. What about 10 to the power of negative 4? OK, so take the reciprocal, flip it upside down, and make the exponent positive. That's 1 over 10 to the power of 4. And 10 to the power of 4 is equal, actually, to 10,000. So anytime you see 10 to the power of negative 4, you're actually dividing by 10,000. 10 to the power of negative 2, you're actually dividing by 100. And that's how negative exponents work with powers of 10. If you're feeling a little bit confused about negative exponents, check out this link for some more information. Thanks for learning with me today. If you like this video and would like to learn more about related topics, click on any of the links below. And please remember to rate, like, or subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific questions or requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you later.